Welcome back to the Jenny McCarthy Show. I'm Jenny McCarthy Wahlberg. I literally feel like I manifested her today because I was thinking about what a horrible mother I've been (laughs) with food and my son. I'm like, oh my God, he still only eats four things. I haven't tried to expand his menu. And when I do, he shuts me down. So I just quit. I need help. And then boom, Neely Fisher is on my show. She's got a website called theflexiblechef.com and a book that's available for you guys, Food You Want for the Life You Crave. Welcome to my show, Neely. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. (sighs) I did need you really bad. I literally this morning, I'm like, I need someone to come over and teach me. But now I can get the book and watch your website. Why is it so hard for... um, unless it's just my kid but I hear this from other mothers too they'll eat a certain group like chicken nuggets um you know eggs fries and pizza like yeah it's almost like there's a manual that they all got like these this is how this is how difficult we must be (laughs) (laughs) how do you expand their you know taste buds and menu yeah, you know, it takes a lot of patience. I also have four kids, so I experimented on the 18-year-old who, you know, who now teaches the seven-year-old. So it it's a process, right? It doesn't happen overnight. I, I think the big thing is to start by just modeling healthy behavior. Like, I have friends who complain about giving their kids chicken nuggets for dinner, but they're snacking on potato chips. So, like, what right. – so I think, like, having an environment that is – the way you want them to grow up is right. key. And of course, not being so hard on yourself because they're going to make bad choices and it's okay. But like, you know, just starting off with like setting the tone. And then I think lots, I mean, I could talk about all the other little bitty strategies, but um, there's many. So the book, let's just talk about it for why people should pick this up. Why is this unique and special? Yeah. So what I didn't want to do is write another book with a collection of recipes that you could Google. I wanted to offer my mark on the world, much similar to you. I saw your amazing (laughs) contributions to the world, and I really wanted to make that mark, and I wanted to do something that other cookbooks didn't have, and I wanted it to be a toolbox where you could pick it up and say, oh my God, that is such a great idea. Let me figure out how to modify and make that my own. The idea is that it's the food that you want to eat for the life that you crave. How do you want to feel? What are your limitations? How much time do you have? Do you want to be shopping around at four supermarkets for ingredients? Obviously not. So how can, how can, you know, how can I give you shortcuts and how can I give you some cheats a little bit? Like what the heck's for dinner at 6 p.m. with all my best intentions? There's nothing in the fridge. Um, So it's really like a, it's a manual for how to be a flexible chef in your life, not only in the kitchen, how to be more forgiving, how to be more open-minded how to incorporate some health and well-being into your life and, you know, have dinner with your family and enjoy the magic moments. I mean, the crazy thing is like you're a chef, you're a yogi, a mom of four. You sound like the poster child, (laughs) you know what I mean, of perfection. So, I mean, how do you manage it all? Um, Sometimes on very little sleep that I make up for on the weekends. I've been on the road right now and I don't know what time zone I'm in. But um, I think the biggest thing is like I just wake up fired up about life wanting to make my mark and so the all of all of those roles i think if you could make a mindset shift from like the stresses that we all have versus opportunity and all of the wonderful things that we have in our lives like i used to constantly complain about i'm so busy i'm so stressed out i have too many things to do how many hats can i wear and i bounce between like you know mom in pajamas and glasses which is not so dissimilar from me right now but <laughs> you know to like go lammed up on tv and how do i like make that shift and now it's like, you know what, how freaking lucky to be able to have opportunity, to be able to be in a position to like, you know, set do the what dinner you do. table. Do what you and love. Exactly. So what are some of these like cheats that you talk about? So it's like if you open up your refrigerator and you're like, oh my God, I'm starting to make this, but I'm out of blank. That's the flops, flip flops that you talk about? Yeah, sometimes. So like, you know, I give you lots of different opportunities to mix and match. Like if you don't have, I'm totally winging this right now, but if you don't have, you know, soy sauce, use salt or whatever. Like how to basically understand the mechanics of what can be swapped for what. You don't have, I mean, everything from like, I don't have chicken, so let's just buy a rotisserie chicken and put it into the stir fry instead. Or, you know, using a boxed cake mix or pulling out some stuff from the freezer freezer. Um, and, and yeah, and being flexible with your pantry so that you can kind of work with what you have. That's smart. And then some, a lot of these recipes are gluten-free. They all are. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. 
it's crazy how many people I remember I had a meeting 17 years ago with my agent and I was like I want to come out with a gluten-free line and I go G- what gluten what go go what I go gluten-free I go trust me it's going to be huge everyone's gonna become a gluten intolerant just trust me on it cut to now they're like oh yeah I remember 17 years ago you were on to something I'm like yeah Totally. When I went gluten free, I we did it for all sorts of like medical stuff. I went to see a naturopath or something, and they were like, "Well, have you tried going gluten free?" And I'm like, "What?" Literally, nobody had heard of it. And like these days, apples are labeled gluten free, and it's totally. Such a Isn't it crazy and scary at the same time? Um, how, do you get your kids involved with cooking? Does that help or? That would yeah. drive me crazy. Maybe. Again, I think the like them seeing me in the kitchen and like no matter where I am in the world or how crazy my day was, like I'm still with the apron and you know whipping up dinner, whatever it is. Again, even if it's just a salad or a rotisserie chicken that we bought, um, so it, you know they see me in the kitchen. They've done some of my videos with me, so like I teach them kind of along the way. I don't force it down them. You know what I mean? Like right. people always ask if I I te- I've been teaching yoga for many years. People always ask, do your kids do yoga with you? I'm like, well, they. Kind of. I mean, they see me doing it, and so they'll, like, rock out a handstand or whatever, but it's really just about the environment, yeah. You're right. It is about being the role model and not doing it. Like, Mm -hmm. I I do healthy behind the scenes. I'm like, I don't know why I'm not doing it in front of him. Hmm. It's stupid yeah <laughs> I don't know maybe because my clock is just crazy um so are the, the recipes are pretty simple to understand they're not too gourmet that we have to totally and I and I make them simpler by giving you two very defining components in every recipe one of them is a flip it section where I show you how to modify and play like we talked about and the other is something I call nail this because I don't know about you but I open cookbooks and you know like so many nights I just don't feel like cooking, so I just don't have the time to like read through the whole recipe and be like, what's the most important thing here? Like, what do I not mess up so I don't have unhappy people at my dinner table, right? So I give you like a shortcut to like, if you do anything else, don't overbake this banana bread because if it's overbaked, it's going to be dry no matter how good the recipe, you know? Smart. I mean, I usually then just rely on DoorDash after that. Exactly. exactly. Forget it. Neely Fisher, this book came at the perfect time. I can't wait to get it, put it in my kitchen and start. It's called Food You Want for the Life You Crave. You guys can also check her out on theflexiblechef.com. Neely Fisher, thank you so much. I really appreciate your help today. And making your mark in the world. Thank Thank you, you. Keep it up. 